Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the challenger, Paddy! The Paddy! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Paranagua, Parada, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, John Hay. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Sports. This is where I want to compete. You want to fight in Vegas and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena. 
is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movements. This is a terrible position. Getting tighter. submission. done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission, due to a Gogo Plata. There it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? You're crying? <laughs> I mean, almost. A, it, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.